Okay guys, in this video we're going to talk about step functions and absolute value. Step functions are very, very simple. Uh, they're structured the same way as the piecewise functions that we looked at earlier, except all of the statements are just constants. So all of our pieces are going to be a little bit of a horizontal line. Okay, so um, the key here is to pay attention to where our domain is. So here we're going to start at zero and we're going to go to one. Now notice that zero is going to be defined and one is not in the first piece. And here it's just going to be f of x equals one. So we're going to go up to here where um, our y value is one. It is defined at zero and it's going to go until x is one. And it's just a small little horizontal piece. Okay, the second piece starts at one and goes up to two, but two is not defined there. And it's where the y value is two. So we're gonna go up to two. We're gonna define it here. And go to where x is two there. See how it's starting to create a uh, little step? All right, the last piece is gonna jump up to where y is four. All right, but it's going to be defined at two. And it's going to go to three and be undefined there. Okay? So see each one starts with a dot and ends with a hole. Alright? It doesn't always have to work that way. It can be reversed or it can um, you know, not be equal to at any one of those uh, boundaries. Okay? It can, um, like it could be undefined here and here and here. Okay? And there would just be holes there. It would only be um, say between zero is less than x which is less than one. Okay, it doesn't have to be equal to it either or one of those. Okay, so that's step functions. All right, so it's not too complicated. It just makes little steps. All right. Now we're going to move on to absolute value, which is going to be a little bit more difficult. Is absolute value is actually a piecewise function in disguise. So say when we have the absolute value of x, okay, this is actually a piecewise function where f of x comes in two pieces. Alright, the first piece is the uh, function negative x and the second piece is x. The key is where they are defined. So if we were to graph this, okay, just a basic sketch, the first piece would be just the linear function of x with a negative slope, a okay, negative one slope. So I would go down here into the origin like that. But it's going to stop there because it's not fun. It's going to stop at zero. All right. The other piece is going to be a positive slope of one going to come off just like that. And I notice in uh, one of these it is defined at zero, so we don't lose any uh, continuity. Okay, this function is continuous everywhere. And it just has a vertex here at the origin. Okay? So that's what is going on here. We have f of x equals negative x here, and f of x equals x on this side. Okay, so you can see it's really two pieces of a function. All right, now we have to talk about one that's more complicated. We're going to have to convert a an absolute value function into a piecewise function. Okay, so we're going to use the example. Start with f of x equals 2 times the absolute value of x minus 1 uh, plus 3. Alright? Now, we're going to have to convert this into a piecewise function. Now, as we saw in the uh, first example where we just did the absolute value of x, what we did was we had one with a negative slope and one with a positive slope. That's not going to change here. We're going to have to have uh, one negative and one positive. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate this function, or we're going to expand it um, based on two things. First of all, we're going to change our parentheses, or uh, our absolute value bars to parentheses. So we're going to have 2 times x minus 1 plus 3. And that will simplify 2x minus 2 plus 3. Now here we can combine like terms and end up with 2x plus 1. Okay, that's going to be the, that's going to be one of our pieces. I'm going to come over here and start building my piecewise function. One of them is going to have that expression. Okay. Now we'll slide this over just a little so you can see it a little bit better. All right. Now we need to figure out how to get the other piece. But uh, but where is this going to go first? All right. We know that the basic sketch is going to be something like this, right? So the positive slope is going to come second. Okay. But to find that, we got to find our vertex. Now our vertex is given to us in our standard form. Okay, which is where x, all right, inside the absolute value bar, it's going to be the value of x that makes the value inside zero. Okay, and the value that we're going to make this zero is going to be one. Okay, and as you can see here, we have a shift, a horizontal shift. We're going to go positive. And since we're only concerned about x values uh, in our condition, we're going to use f if x is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so we've already found that. And that means we've also found the top of our, the top condition here. Okay, it's going to be if x is less than 1. So now all we have to do is fill in that last expression. Okay, to do that, we're going to start with the same function again, except we're going to make uh, the slope negative in front. Okay? So we're going to evaluate the same way. We're going to end up with negative 2x plus 2 plus 3. Okay? Because I distributed the negative 2 into both terms. And a negative times a negative gives us a positive. So we're going to combine like terms again. Positive 2 and positive 3 gives us a positive Five, and there is our second expression. And it fits in right there. Okay? So we've taken this absolute value function right here, and we've converted it into, into the appropriate piecewise function, which is there. Now, if we were to do this on a graph, and it's going to be a rather rough sketch, but that's okay. We know it's going to be over 1 because we found that in our vertex. And as we see here, we have a shift, uh, vertical shift of positive 3. So we're going to go up to 3. And that's going to be our vertex. This is going to tell us that we are stretched, okay? Which means that it's going to, instead of being this kind of absolute value, it's going to be stretched vertically. So it's going to be a little bit thinner as it goes up. So it's going to be more like this. Okay? And again, this is a rough sketch, but all we're trying to do is get an idea. And okay, we're trying to get a basic idea of what this is going to look like. Okay? So we've taken the absolute value function itself, converted it into piecewise, and now we've graphed it. Okay? Well, there we go. That's piecewise, step, and absolute value function as piecewise functions. Uh, if you have any questions, again, just let me know.